In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to piece together all of your tile scene onto pre-made 8-inch canvas pieces that can be purchased individually. Now we're going to need a pair of scissors, we might need a hammer, we are going to need our stapler, we're going to need a pen, and something to kind of measure off. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my embroidered piece and I'm going to very quickly just take off the excess cutaway stabilizer. And if I hold it down with my elbow and just get nice and close and go all the way around, this will trim off most of the excess stabilizer. And if I need to, I can come in, get a little closer this side here and now I know that's cut nice and clean. Then I'm going to take my canvas and I'm going to line it up right over top and I'll look all the way around to make sure that it's lined up pretty much everywhere. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm just using a little box that I had left over that I know is a perfect size and I'll just very quickly mark around all the way with a sharpie. Then I can remove my canvas and I can very quickly trim. Doesn't have to be perfect, just want to get a fairly straight line that is going to be equal all the way around. Now if I want to, I can trim a little bit of the corners off just so that it decreases the amount of bulk as I fold things over. After that's done, I'm going to take my canvas back over top, make sure that it is lined up as close as possible all the way around, and then I'm going to take my staple gun. I'm going to fold up the first side and I'll put one staple around each center part of each side. That way I'll probably want to check it first, make sure that it's pretty much centered all the way around, which it appears to be. At this point, I can give it a final little tap with my hammer, and then I can start to pull tight one side almost all the way to the end. Then I'll do the same to the other side. Come almost all the way to the end. Now that both sides are done, I'm going to just do halfway on either side. And that way I have a corner that I can get into where I can start to crease in the one side, get it as neat and tidy as possible, and then put a staple in to finish it off. Same thing on this side, try to push the end in as much as possible to get a neat corner 
Please keep in mind this is not my full-time job, but after doing quite a few of these, you get a bit of a system in place and it generally is a little bit easier to work with them. Now that that is all in place, and I can see that my tile scene is done. Thank mm -hmm. you.